Hi Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Let's take a look at the cards and the messages that Spirit wants to bring through for you at this time. Guidance for Aries, please Spirit. Guidance and messages for Aries. This one here is your card. Let's see the message here. It is safe and satisfying for me to be seen for who I really am. So what I'm seeing is that you're going to be really standing out this week because you're authentic, because you're just being you. And this is incredibly powerful, incredibly powerful. And you're going to be feeling safe. You're going to be feeling comfortable with you doing you. And this is an interesting energy I'm picking up, Aries, because what I'm sensing is that you're, by you being yourself, by you being truly authentic, you're going to see someone around you, someone close to you, someone that you interact with on a regular basis, they are going to start to feel uncomfortable for some reason. They're going, their the energies are shifting and they feel uncomfortable because you are just being you. So that's an interesting thing I'm picking up. So that's for you to be aware of. Um, the circumstances are going to be different for everyone, of course, why that's the case. But I am sensing that that's, that energy is there. So let's see with this deck of cards. Okay, we have several cards that have fallen out here. So I'll just grab them. We have turquoise, beautiful energy. And we have tourmalinated quartz. Get out of your own way. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the turquoise, prioritize your health. So there's um, a health energy here, a health warning, health energy. You may be focusing on your health and your diet and your lifestyle. There might be something that you're having an intention toward this week. And if that's the case, Aries, you're prioritizing your health, your well-being, and it's going to go really well for you. And it's also a reminder and a warning to not overdo things and not stress too much and let worry or anxiety take over because it's going to have an effect on your body. I do feel that's the a message for someone. That's the case for someone here. So prioritize your health this week, Aries. And get out of your own way. So this is about letting go of self-doubts. It's about letting go of the energies held within you that you no longer need to hold on to. It's important to let those energies go so you can move forward in the best way possible in your life. So let's see what your next card is and the message that spirit wants to bring through for you that may resonate for you. Okay, I'm feeling two cards actually. I'm feeling this one here and I'm feeling this one here. Let's see what they are. Confidence is your key to success. The new moon in Leo, which is beautiful. Um, very much tying into this beautiful yellow energy here coming in for this first card. And it's tapping into the energy of confidence. So that energy is beautiful around you. And this one here is balance, spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. You may have a Pisces around you, a significance in your life, and you may also have a Leo as well, perhaps, maybe both. Um, so what I'm seeing with this card is that Spirit's encouraging you to look at your spiritual practice, whether that's meditation, prayer, or doing something else that centers your mind and your, your body and your heart. So balance that with what you're doing day to day in a practical sense. So you can balance these two. Perhaps there's an imbalance happening. Perhaps you're leaning too much toward um, focusing on the everyday and not enough on spiritual things or it might be the other way around. So that needs to come into balance for your 
best interest here at Aries for the week ahead. And one of these life purpose cards, please, Spirit. This one here and also this one here. Creative expression. Beautiful. Your soul longs to express itself creatively. It's time to pick up the pens, the paint, do something artistic or creative. Music, perhaps, or writing. You know, there's so many different creative expressions and you'll know what's right for you. But you've been putting this off or you've had a feeling you've wanted to do this, but it just hasn't happened for whatever reason. And Spirit is saying, yes, now is the time this week, this week, Aries, do something creative. Yeah, I love that. And we have children taking your attention and there may be interesting conversations that you have with a child, your child, your grandchildren, or you could be the child in this situation and you could be talking to your parent or parents. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching and healing children. So when it comes to life purpose, we have teaching, we've also got um, assisting, helping, healing, but in some way children are involved. So that's the beautiful thing. Yes, I'm seeing that someone younger than you, a child, a youth or someone that is Someone's looking up to you at the moment. Someone is looking up to you. They're watching what you are doing. They're copying what you're doing. You can be such a positive guide to this person. All right, let's take a look at this card here for you. The Ace of Winter and it's the Panda. Implementation of your brilliant new idea may get off to a rocky start, but keep going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So that may be in relation to this creative expression. Perhaps you have a new idea you're wanting to express, but it gets off to a rocky start. But don't give up. Do not give up. Um, the Ace of Winter is about that inspired idea, whether it's creative or otherwise. Don't give up. Uh, keep going. Because these challenges, as it says on this card, is just going to help you refine the plan. It's going to um, get things more sorted out for you. And your next card is the world. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage so the world is about a completion it's about coming to the end of the road on something and it's about also a new beginning really it's about a new beginning as well so we have you finishing up something in your life this week so you can start afresh so something else is um, going to be allowed to enter your life so the world is a good positive ending or completion process. The world, of course, can also indicate travel. You might be traveling for work or visiting family or they may be traveling to you, but there's some kind of um, looking at travel in some way or looking at the world, looking at world events. Uh, you might be analyzing the, the what's going on in your community or the world at large at the moment. We have the sun which is a beautiful, vibrant energy, of course. Your plans will work out well, bringing you happiness, prosperity and success. You'll garner the recognition for your accomplishments you so richly deserve. So this is about a payoff for you. This is about recognition, recognition for your efforts, for your accomplishments. Um, your plans are going to work out well. The sun is always this vibrant, happy energy. So you can be confident that what you're working on this week, um, or perhaps you've been working on it for some time, you are going to come to a conclusion. There's a finishing line here. There's a, a positive goal that you're going to reach and you're going, it's going to bring success and recognition into your life in some way. It might be work related, business related, 
might be another area of life you'll have to place this energy where it fits for you of course okay so we have the Prince of Spring and the key words are passionate charismatic confident and restless and it is the dolphin an opportunity arises that needs your attention right away Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. And this is about things getting moving. So if you've been feeling stagnant in an area of your life or you're waiting to hear word from someone, there's good news on the way. Or there is information that you're going to gather, that you're going to receive that demands your attention. It's it's not going to pass you by. It's an energy of you having to do something right then and there and things will move quickly but there's nothing you can't handle I love that it says this on this card nothing you can't handle just follow what your heart is telling you to do I'm sensing that others may be wanting you to make a decision or wanting you to um, make a certain choice but it's important that you follow your own inner guidance Beautiful. And your final card for the week, Aries, is the Two of Winter. The Dash Hound Dog. Procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. So I feel this is a follow on um, energy from the dolphin here where spirit is saying it's important that you follow your inner guidance especially if you have a decision to make if you're making a choice and it might be because you are worried what others will think they have a certain idea for you the way that you should go their expectations may be laying on you but what does your heart say what do you really want to do so that's what you need to follow the two of winter can also indicate that there is a block to communication with someone and if that's the case then follow your inner guidance um, around this um, difficult communication that you have going on in fact we do have the ace here as well so there might be an opportunity this week where um, an opportunity is given to you to um, communicate with them or there's an opportunity there to break this stalemate in some way very interesting cards Aries I hope you have a wonderful week I hope the reading has been helpful for you if you did enjoy the reading of course you can click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you would like to if you haven't already as you all know I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel have a wonderful week and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye for now.